UFC legend and Hall of Famer Ken Shamrock is joining me now to talk about Valor BK2 coming to Jacksonville later this month. Welcome to First Coast Living. It's so great to meet you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate that. Now I have to admit, yeah. I, I don't, I, I'm not totally like well versed in your <laughs> world, but I know you are like the main event. Uh, that's, that's a phrase people say, right? Main event. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I like it. First, let's learn about what uh, Valor BK is and what makes it unique to the sport of boxing. Well, you know, for a long time, like you said, I was main event, I fought, you know, I was a champion, and you just get to a certain point in your career mm -hmm. where you can't just do it in the ring anymore. So I've stepped away, but I never wanted to go away from it. So I felt like uh, being a promoter or coming up with uh, something like uh, my own promotion mm -hmm. to be able to try to give other people opportunities that I had. So. The only way I could do that was to go back into my career and kind of look to see what the fans liked, uh, what the fighters liked, and go back and actually make some rule changes oh. to be able to make the fights more exciting for the fans. Valor bare knuckle is the true bare knuckle. There are no tapes on the hand. There's no glove on the hand. It's true bare knuckle. There's wow. no ropes. There's no cages. What? So you can't back up. I kid you not. You have to use footwork and you have to fight. So it's fast paced action. And also, there's no clinching. The boringest thing in boxing, bare knuckle boxing, boxing, no matter what it is, is the clinch. So we've taken the clinch out. Now that you've taken all those things out, come watch Valor BK October 27th. It is exciting, it's fast paced, and you will enjoy it. Yeah, so where is this actually going to be? At the UNF, University of North Florida, okay. October 27th. Oh my gosh, and, and you mentioned rules and kind of changing them up. So what is different other than there not being a cage or ropes? What else is kind of different in terms of the rules? Yeah, again, I, I think the biggest thing is when you talk about the actual clinching, it slows fights down in Okay, boxing. see, this is what I, this is where the uh, not yeah, being right, well-versed right, right. comes in. <laughs> what is a clinch? Is, I'm think, is it this thing? Is it yeah. that thing where they clinch yeah. each other? Is it really? Yeah, I, I kid Did I just not. guess it right? That's right, it is, right? When they come together, it's like when they throw a one-two punch <laughs> and they hit. Before the other guy can counter, they grab him and they ah. hug him. It's like a cheat code. When you land a okay. punch, you don't want the guy to hit you back, so you grab him. So we've taken that out, and that really has picked up the fight. So in Valor, you can't do that. So that way, that means that fights are fast, ah. and when you ain't going to get away with hugging anybody, you're going to have to fight. Okay, now uh, let's talk about safety here. Just uh. just because I'm curious, <laughs> not because I'm judging. No. Uh, <laughs> is this a little bit more dangerous then? You know, it's coming a, from the most dangerous man. Right. Yeah. It, every. <laughs> yeah. It, it, for me, it is dangerous. But no, listen. <laughs> I get this all the time, and people, for whatever reason, can't seem to believe what I'm saying, but the facts are behind it. Mm -hmm. It is safer long term to your brain to fight bare knuckle than it is to have boxing gloves on. Really? Let me explain it. Your head is in fluid inside your, in your head, right? There's fluid in there, and you got a hard surface on the outside. Right. So if I put a glove on and I hit somebody getting in a fight with them, I hit them 100 times per round. Mm -hmm. That brain bounces off in there a hundred times. Oof. Doesn't matter how hard that surface is on the outside. It's still bouncing. I see. I take that glove off, take the tape off, and I hit you 12 times and you go down. That brain, and no matter what, that brain will bounce off your head 12 times. Mm -hmm. So you imagine this over a 10-year career. How many times your brain bounces off inside of your head with gloves oh, on wow. as opposed to bare knuckle? That's why you see boxers who walk around who have a 10-year career and were ex-world champions they have a hard time talking mm. because they've had brain damage over the years, not just through fighting, but through training. Wow, yeah, that's a good point. I'm glad you explained yeah. that, actually. Um, and then, why Jacksonville? You said there was a uh, lot of fans here? Jacksonville, fans? Jacksonville. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, Duval, Duval. there's a fight town, baby. <laughs> All of Florida is a fight town. We've, said, we've found so many fighters through our tryouts that we've done throughout the state of Florida. It's been incredible. We've had a great reaction. Our whole undercard is lined with local people. It's been tremendous. So we're really happy to be kind of here and doing our show here because there's a lot of support. So we look forward to you October 27th at the UNF. Come down and check it out. And speaking of support, you also want to give back to the folks who help us the most, right? So touch on that a little bit. Yeah, we made a point to align ourselves with the FOP. Um, it was important to me as a kid. I grew up uh, kind of in the system, in and out of group homes, and sports saved my life. You know, I was irrelevant. I was a kid that was going to end up in prison or dead. Um, I got into fighting, um, ended up uh, getting a career in it, and it, it made me relevant. Like, all of a sudden, I was this relevant kid because I was good at something. So now we get to align ourselves with the FOP 
uh, kind of do the same thing where we are actually bigger than just the fight. We give people opportunities to find careers, be able to have opportunities to do things. And I know this, the PAL organization, you know, um, I was one of those kids, you know what I mean? Like one of those kids that didn't have a future, didn't know what to go, but sports saved their life. So we're really happy to be aligned with the FOP and be able to do something bigger than just fighting. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, what is the best way uh, for folks to get tickets to this? Yeah, you go to valorbk.com, get your tickets. They're going fast, man. So, hey, I'm going to be there. Come down and check it out. All right. Thank you. It was such a pleasure meeting you. Oh, he's Thank just you. a big teddy bear. <laughs> hey, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you again, right. and uh, good luck thank with everything. So and welcome you. to Duval. Duval. <laughs> and if you'd like to see this interview again, just head to our website, friscosliving.net.